All right, so here we've got an example uh, evaluating the integral using the trapezoidal rule. This will be the first example. I have another example with a trig function. That'll be example two. It'll have its own video. But here's the here's the trapezoidal rule. It says the integral from a to b of f of x dx. So t sub n is delta x over 2 times f of x naught plus 2 times f of x1 plus 2 times f of x2 and then all the way to f of x sub n. Now notice here that we've got 2 multiplied by everything in here except for the first and last term. That doesn't get multiplied by 2. Okay, And then delta x is b minus a over n, n will be given to you, and the uh, x sub i is a plus i delta x. That's just That just gets you to the next x naught, x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub n minus 1, and so on. Alright, so let's look at our example. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to find uh, delta x. So delta x is equal to b minus a, so that's 2 minus a over n. And see they give us n is equal to 6, and so that will give us 1 third. Okay. Now, t sub 6 is equal to, okay, so let's go back and look at the formula. All right, so that's delta x over 2, and we've got delta x, which is 1 third, and then f of x naught, okay, so the first number, f of x naught, that's going to be a, that's going to be this limit. And then, how is delta x increasing? It's increasing by a third, right? Okay. So, you see, this is when i is 0, then we're at a. When i is 1, we're at 1 third. When i is 2, we're at 2 thirds, and so on. Okay, but basically we're starting out here and then we're going to add delta x to each one until we get to 2. Alright, so we've got delta x over 2 times f of 0, okay, that's the first one where we evaluate it, plus 2 times f of, and then the next one, the increments are one-third. So that's one-third. Let me write that better. Plus two times f of, and so I'm going to add a third to that. That'll give me two-thirds. And then plus two times f of, add a third to that. That's three over three which is also what? 3 over 3 is just 1, plus 2 times f of, and then I'll add a third to that. Well, remember, that was 3 over 3, so 3 over 3 plus 1 third, that's 4 thirds, plus 2 times add a third, that's 5 thirds, plus, and then I would add a third, that'd be 6 over 3, which is 2, so that's going to be our last term, so that's just f of 2. Okay. So, this is going to equal, well, this is 1 third divided by 2. Well, remember, that's 1 third, that's 2 over 1 times the reciprocal, which that's just 1 sixth. Okay. And then that's going to be times. Now, I'm not going to go through and plug all of these in and do that. 
I'll do maybe the I'll do the first and third the first and second one and then you can go from there. So I need f of zero. So f of zero, well I'm plugging zero into here. So that's gonna be one plus I'm sorry. That's gonna be one over one plus zero to the sixth, which that's just one. So f of zero is one. And then the next one, that's going to be f of one-third. That's going to be one over one plus one-third to the sixth. And whatever that is, uh, let's see. Okay, so this is going to be one over one plus 729. I'm sorry. 1 over 729 and then remember how to simplify a complex fraction multiply everything by 729 and so that's going to leave us with 729 over and this is going to be 729 this cancels out to 1 so that's going to be over 730 okay so that's plus 2 times 729 over 730. All right. So that's how you would go about doing all that. You just have to plug it in and, you know, you probably this one would be best if you just used a calculator. But I'll go ahead and write all this out so you can see if you got them right. So this is going to be 2 times... Uh, and I'm going to pause it while I write it out, and then you can check it. All right, so there it is. You can pause it and check the numbers and make sure you got them all right. And then when you go to plug this into your calculator, just punch all that in. You end up with 1.04042686. All right, and that's your answer. So... Hope this video helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.